So what's going on guys, welcome to another tutorial in Adobe After Effects CC. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to work with text and also animation presets. So right over here we have the text tool, I'm going to type in Adobe Easy. Now if you want, you can make more adjustments to the text. Right over here we have the character panel open. If you don't have that open, you just go to Window and you can select Character. If you need the Effects and Presets panel open, you'll go to Window also and select Effects and Presets. Right over here we could decrease or increase the size of the text. We have options for the kerning if we want to select that. And then over here we have some more options where you can make the text bold, you can italicize it, and different other options. Again, just like the other Adobe programs like I said before. So right over here in the effects and presets panel, we're going to select animation presets, and then you're going to select text. There are a lot of options here. <laughs> There's no question about it. Every time Adobe updates the software, they make a lot of improvements, including a lot of these text animation presets. So let's select one. I'm going to select 3D text and then just randomly select some to show you guys what they can do. And if I scrub on the timeline, you see it's that simple to animate text in After Effects. We'll select another one. This one's really quick, but it just blurs it in. And then if you need to make any detail adjustments to either one of these letters, all you have to do is right click on this and you can either select create shapes from text or create mask from text. If you select create shapes from text, you're going to see another option here. It creates a new layer. Then right here in the drop down you have contents and it shows you all the letters where you can make adjustments to it if you needed to. But if you don't and you just want to use the letters like this, all you have to do is have a text layer and then you can start adding effects to it. This is pretty simple stuff and there are a lot of different effects. There are so many over here that you can select from. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.